Hello guys and welcome to another studio vlog. I would like to say a huge thank you to our sponsors today, Anna Luisa Jewelry. Those of you who are familiar to my channel will know that I absolutely love my jewelry, especially when it's Anna Luisa. I've been working with this company for over a year now and my pieces are still perfect. I'm in love with all the rings. I have been sent these gorgeous earrings and rings and I particularly love the rings because my fingers are so, so tiny. They're like little chipolatas and these rings are adjustable, meaning that they will fit even my tiny little sausage fingers. But there are many other reasons that I love this brand. The main reason being their values. They are eco-friendly and sustainable. All their jewelry is created in-house. Their diamonds are lab-grown instead of mined, meaning it's much better for the environment. Plus, I feel like such a boss when I wear this jewelry. I feel like I'm ready to smash through my to-do list and get on with my day. And they are currently running their biggest sale of the year. You can get 20% off everything using the link below. And I think it's such perfect timing to start that Christmas shopping. I haven't started yet. If you're looking for the perfect gift for someone or you're struggling to find some inspiration and gift ideas, take a look at the link below and I'm sure you'll find something that you love. So thank you so much, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get on with the rest of the vlog. Welcome to another studio vlog. I haven't washed my hair. I don't have a hair dryer. It conked out like last night and I'm waiting for one to arrive on Amazon. So we're going with the bun look, the bun head today. And I tried to do a messy bun, but it just doesn't work. I can't do it. So today on the agenda, we're trying not to dwell on bad things. It's from an objective point of view, it hasn't been a good week at all for the business. Um, I lost one of my sponsors this week um, and then I woke up this morning and I have a case open against my Etsy shop because a customer hasn't received an item, um, but they didn't send me a message so I couldn't sort it out. So we're trying not to dwell on the negative things. Also, Etsy has been abysmal. I earned £40 last week and as this is my full-time business and my full-time income, that is terrible. But as I said, we're trying not to dwell. We are being positive. The case can be sorted. I will sort that. That is no problem at all. Um, the sponsor is such a shame and I did have a little cry about it. But onwards and upwards. Today, I... I'm sorting out these gift boxes, finally. So I'm gonna start with a small business one. I need to paint my nails as well because they're terrible. Also, my eyelashes are hanging on by a thread. Anyway, once that's all done, the small business boxes, I need to paint my nails so I can take nice pictures with them, not just for the fun of it. Small business gift boxes, I need to print more stickers. I have these um, seller stickers that have been in my shop for a long time, but I'm wondering if I should do a different set of stickers for the small business box. Also going to pop in this small business community sticker, along with a get things done pencil with gold foil, a to-do list, and another like daily to-do list pad sort of thing. All fits in a letterbox size box. I'm wondering whether to print oh also these happy mail stickers because small businesses when they get their your first orders you like your packages to look nice and keep them nicer and keep continuing to improve your packaging as time goes on so I think this will be a nice little starter pack for a small business or just a nice little gift for someone for Christmas who has a small business um so I'm going to take pictures of that today and finish printing off the stickers for them um then I need to get onto some orders, paint my nails, take pictures, just get on with the day. 
Also, thank you so much for your comments on my last video. They really made my heart sing. <laughs> case in the Etsy shop. It is actually from someone who messaged me about three weeks ago saying that the item was shipped to a wrong address that they put in and I said I replied to them straight away saying um can you check the address um it's essentially not my fault if you put in the wrong address because that's the address it's been sent to now but if you can check that address um and let me know if it's been sent there um, and keep me updated and I wasn't updated and now there's a case and a lovely one star review from something that wasn't my fault so I'm just reiterating what I said um, I said that items oh geez the most whingy dog ever I said that items sent to the incorrect addresses are usually returned to me um, but I haven't received anything as of late otherwise I would have let her know um, you know, sorry to see this case open. I'm not really sure what to do. She hasn't been the kindest. She hasn't been the kindest um, customer. But I guess in I've already got a one star review, so I can't really do much about it. Do I offer to send another one for free to the correct address, even though nothing was my fault? Usually when people put in the incorrect address, they message me and they're very apologetic and I offer them a discount to order one to the correct address and the one is sent back to me and I'll send it out to them. But that, that hasn't happened in this case. I'm, I'm a bit confused as to what to do unless I just do what she wants and send out a, another one for free to the correct address and bite the bullet and pay for the foil and the paper and the shipping myself. I don't know. I'm also wondering whether to include these stickers in the small business gift box and it'll be a pack of two or these stickers in the small business gift box. I, these are very old. They've been in my shop for a while. These are new and they're currently not for sale. But I quite like the simplicity of them and I also like that they include things like pension, wages, expenses, just a bit more um, in depth than these ones, which I just sort of like take a break to do, make sure you eat a little bit of in goings up goings. Please excuse my nails, I'm going to paint them later. Um, but I don't know, I like the colours of these. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs>
So the gift boxes are done and ready for photographing. Now it's just time to paint these nails. Hello, handsome. <laughs> utility room, setting up my props, mochi is following me everywhere. Uh, we had the small business box, so this sticker, I decided on these stickers, I think are way more useful. Do you want to go out? And um, Happy Mail stickers, a to-do list, uh, a daily to-do list, and a pencil saying, get things done. I also have some puffle that I'm going to fill the boxes with, which I think will be really nice and make it extra special and more gifty. So I finished work for today. I didn't get around to taking all the pictures I wanted to because the light this time of year, I mean, it is currently five o'clock and it's too dark to take any pictures. So. I'm just on my way to Tesco, gonna pick up some snacks because the girls are coming around tonight and we're gonna play Animal Crossing. And then tomorrow we are going to an escape room for my sister's birthday and I haven't done one before, so I'm really excited about that, but I don't know what to expect. Clink. Emoji now. <laughs> Monday today and I had such a lush weekend it was my well it's my sister's birthday today we celebrated her birthday on the weekend and we went for food in Bristol did a, an escape room which we I didn't think we were going to escape it took us 50 minutes out of an hour to escape um but that was really fun and just had a really nice weekend so back to reality today I wrote my calendar at the beginning or the end of October and the only thing on today's uh, date is the Kickstarter awards. But I know there's a lot more to do than that today because things accumulate over time. And I'm just going to write a to-do list using my to-do list pad and get on with the day. Oh, also, Not On The High Street finally put my shop live. Um, I haven't checked it yet because it went live on Friday. So I need to post about that and make some Instagram posts and reels and just announce it because I haven't really announced it. I didn't want to announce it until it was live and now it's live. The sad thing is the items on my Not On The High Street shop or some of them are a bit more expensive than on my CoconutTasha.com shop because of the super high commission, 25%. And they also informed me that every order over £30 qualifies for free delivery, whether you want it or not. So I have to put shipping prices now in my items that, well, all my items, because what if somebody buys a sweater or buys something for £35 and they pay shipping, but then they add something else for £5 and then I have to pay for the shipping. It's just, shipping's not cheap. Shipping is expensive. And to put it in with your prices, it bumps it up. I like, and free shipping doesn't exist. It doesn't. Even if you've got Prime, I have Amazon Prime. I know it's free delivery, but I'm actually paying delivery. Yeah, that's a rant for another day. So yes, let's get on with the day.
doing something I haven't done before and that is entering the paper awards by Top Draw. So Top Draw is the trade show that I'll be doing next year in January that I've been preparing for and getting stressed over. Um, but they do something called the paper awards um, and I usually just ignore it because I doing a trade show feels so far out of my depth as it is. Entering a competition would just cause me further grief. <laughs> but I had an email this morning, I just thought I'll take a little look at it. And the categories are emotive design, engaging print, best stationary design, and exciting use of colour. And the exciting use of colour grabbed me and I just thought, I think I have the perfect collection to enter, which is this collection here. This one I designed in March, April 2020. And each design was based on what everyone was going through last year and helping people kind of get through those tough days with the use of bright, uplifting, positive colours, which is what I always go on about when I have to write about my business and what inspires me and what drives my design, my products. So I'm going to enter this um, collection. They want to be sent samples as well, um, but I've had this, these cards, you know, for over a year now and they're all printed on different things. I got two on silk, two on um, soft touch and I got two that I've printed myself. One that I printed myself. So I need to make them all the same and I'm thinking of just printing them all myself. This one I printed here in-house. This is the soft touch, which received mixed reviews. I like the feel of it, but many don't. Plus it's non-recyclable. And then we have the standard silk with a slight sheen to it. But yeah, I might I might enter that. It doesn't I don't need to do much except for write a little bit about the collection, send them my cards, and tell them my stand number. Hmm. We will try. So it's about 10 past five now. I am starting to flag for the day. It gets to about this time and I can't be bothered to do any more. I've done what I needed to do. I've worked on my Kickstarter awards. They're not gonna be done in a day, but I've been doing them all day. Um, what else did I get done? My messages and my emails um, sent off a commission. Starting to enter this thing called the paper awards. Um, gonna work on that again tomorrow. I did my outstanding orders for Shopify and Etsy. I've also been looking into this new platform called Fair. It's like a wholesale website. And I've submitted my, um, they emailed me a long time ago and I just ignored it because I thought it was like a spam thing and I just ignore them. But it turns out they're a legit website that people have been using recently. So I've accepted the application and put that through and just to see what it's all about. I don't know, I'm not sure. and. Tomorrow, I need to work on this video. Also, a collaboration. Um, post but not on the high street. I might do that tonight. And work on the Kickstarter awards. More goodie box pictures. Or oh, gift box. They're called gift boxes. I don't want to call these goodie boxes because that's what my Patreon boxes are called. Um, yeah, just continue with what I've been doing today. Good morning, it is Wednesday today 
and I'm going to start the day by taking more product photography of the gift boxes. I'm thinking of doing the self-care one today. I just want to do the ones that are most important for the gift giving season and Christmas, but I guess that's all of them. But I've done the small business one and I've done the manifestation one. And I think today I'm going to do the self-care one. I should do the working from home one as well because a lot of people are working from home. Um, and then I'll leave Valentine's Day and Galentine's Day to last. I really want to make a thank you box as well. So that will include like a thank you card and some bits of um, stationery as gifts because there's many times I've wanted to say thank you to a friend um, and I don't know what to do. And, I, and I've bought gift boxes online uh, that say thank you so I just thought a thank you version will be great as well oh and there's a mother's day version as well but obviously mother's day is until next March yes so self-care today so just to show you this is the self-care box I put together which includes these little stickers and um, a self-care club sticker the look after yourself pin in silver uh, this greeting card, Blue Skies and Sunshine, I think this makes me really happy. Plus, it's not like a, it's not really a sympathy card, so you can write whatever you want in it or just put it on your desk and make it look really nice. And this little to-do list with sections for how you're feeling, water intake, um, to-do lists, appointments, a bit of everything. And here is the cover for the self-care box. I just want to update you, I have had my first two sales on Not On The High Street overnight. Um, it's just two small desk planners, so nothing like crazy, but I think that's pretty good considering I've been on there since Friday. So it's Wednesday today, so just a few days. Hopefully, fingers crossed, is the start of many. I need to stop putting myself down. It is something to celebrate. I need to stop looking on the negative side because that is my downfall lately. But I will celebrate these two orders and I'm gonna pack them right now. I just got really excited because I just had another order from Not On The High Street for two of the manifestation boxes, which only went live on there yesterday. So I was having a look at the order, um, making sure everything was correct, because I'm still very, very new to this um, software. Excuse me, guys, I got a bit of a sauce. <laughs> oh, gee, it was me. I got a bit of a sore throat. Um, so my prices are a bit higher on Not On The High Street because of the ridiculous fees. Speaking of ridiculous, um, this person ordered two gift boxes and they are priced at £20 each on their, um, whereas they're £15 each on my website and Etsy. So the order was £40. Nice, I know. Uh, then when I'm looking at the, the breakdown of the fees and everything, obviously then 25% of £40 is... Um, ten pound, so that's thirty pound left. I didn't realise they charged VAT on top of the twenty five percent commission, so it's not ten pound they're taking from me; it's twelve. So I'm then left with twenty eight pound, which is still fine. However, orders on not on the high street over forty pound automatically are are included in the free shipping scheme that they have. So I also have to pay for the shipping out of that £28. Shipping's not free. Shipping is never free. If you see free shipping, 
it's not free. It means the price is in the item price that you're paying. You're paying shipping regardless. Um, so I'm not sure how much that's going to cost me shipping wise at the post office. So I'm going to pack these two boxes tomorrow because I've run out of ink today. And then I will update you on how much the shipping costs for those two boxes. And we'll calculate the total profit made from these two boxes. And I'm thinking it's not going to be much more than £10 when I take in, into consideration the contents um, of the boxes as well. And £10 for two boxes is a bit, considering what they include. I mean, it's a bit of an eye opener. We're going to have to rejig some things. Maybe I can opt out of the free shipping thing, but then... Does the free shipping incentive equal more sales? I've never, I've never experienced that on Etsy. I've not, I've dabbled in free shipping and it didn't give me more sales on Etsy. Um, so I took it off and I haven't done free shipping since. I feel like it's a bit of a, a lie when you say free shipping, but then you've bumped your item prices up. So the customers are paying for the shipping in the item price then that's what sellers have to do these days. We're competing with the likes of Amazon and big corporations like that. It's really tough to stay afloat sometimes. Try not to be negative because it's great. I'm still amazingly chuffed and surprised. I've had three orders so far. Um, so I'm really, really glad people like my stuff on there. Um, I hope my customers are happy. I've sent out the first two today and I'll send out this one tomorrow. It's just um, figuring out this pricing and commission sort of thing. Good morning. It is Thursday today, Friday Eve, and I'm just about to leave the house and go get a PCR COVID test because my throat just feels a bit croaky, a bit dry, a bit tight. Uh, I don't want to risk anything because um, I'm still, I, I still want to see my friends and my family. So I'm going to get a COVID test, hopefully get the results tomorrow. Um, other than that, I feel fine. I feel absolutely fine. Just my throat is a bit strange. Um, so I'm going to get the test and carry on with work for the rest of the day and then edit this vlog. So I just got back from the COVID test. I did it. And I'm just home now with some porridge and about to start work. I have an issue and it's a great issue to have. Um, I've sold out of the crystals that are in the manifestation boxes. I've sold two boxes on not on the high street and another box on Etsy. And I didn't order mine to begin with because I didn't think they would sell that well. But I have sold out of the crystals. And my lovely stockist, uh, Cosmic Moonstone, won't be getting any in stock soon. Um, so I'm going to replace them for now with the Make Magic enamel pin and I need to retake all the photos that I took last week. I didn't think they'd sell so it's a great problem to have. A bit annoying that I got to retake the photos with a new product but it is what it is. <laughs>
photos are done i have one more in stock with the crystals so i'll wait till that sells and then i'll change the pictures to the ones with the pin now i'm gonna do the Etsy, the not on the high street order i don't have any ink so i can't actually process it but i'm gonna just weigh this manifestation set and times it by two and see how much postage that, sh that will cost me because yesterday we worked out that the postage price and the commission price of not on the high street was a lot higher than what i thought so let's uh weigh this up measure it put it on royal mail and see what the postage will cost me for this order So the set by itself is 297, so let's say 300, and the packaging um, that I'm going to put it in is 14 grams. So I'll times the 300 by 2 because there's two sets going in one bag, so that's 612 grams, let's say. Now let's work that out on the Royal Mail website. So thankfully it can go for a second class small parcel with the value up to £50 because the order was £40 um, just to cover it in case it gets lost. So £4 is about what I was expecting. So now let's work out all the costs of this order. So the order was £40 but then not on the high street take 25% uh, commission which will be £10 plus VAT so that will be £2, so £12 is gone already. Then there's the shipping that I have to pay, which is £4. And then there's the contents inside. So we have the crystals, the desk pad, the greeting card. Um, all these bits and pieces add up and I think you think it's not a lot. And then once you add them all up, it's like, oh, I didn't realise. So the total we have here is £21.97. And the total profit for me is £18 and three pence. Okay, so if I've worked that out correctly, um, including everything from the 25% commission, the VAT, the shipping, everything inside, the contents, the crystals, the card, the desk pad. Um, oh, the pencil, I forgot the pencil, that's 99p. Let's add that. So out of a £40 order, the profit I've made is £17 and four pence, which is better than what I was expecting. Um, so I was expecting me to make like a 10, like 10 pound. Um, I still need to adjust some prices. The crystals are more expensive than what I remember them. Um, I thought they were three pound, but no, it turns out they were four pound 40. Um, that's fine. So I'm still making a profit on these boxes. It's not a huge profit. That is around nine pound per box. Um, yeah, it's still a profit. It's not like I'm losing money. It's better than what I thought. It's worth doing this from time to time to your products to see if your margins are good enough, they, they, they're what you want to be earning, they're what you deserve for the quality of the work, um, things like that. So that's figured out now. I can adjust prices here and there. I can put up the box if I want. I can try and source cheaper crystals. I'm gonna be swapping out temporarily the crystals for the enamel pin anyway, and that should, half the production cost because the crystals are £4.40 and I'm pretty sure the production of the enamel pin is around £2.10 so yeah just here and there just having a look at the prices and stuff. I am also just sending off these weekly planners to be printed because I'm almost running out. I use Hello Print for a lot of my planners and desk planners and they've given me a referral code which gives you £15 off your order. I'll pop that in my description below um, it also gives me £15 off my next order, but we can all help each other. But I use them for all my desk planners, really, and I've never... If I've had an issue, like if things have been printed in the wrong place, they've corrected it straight away, as you've seen in my previous vlogs. So yeah, I'm just popping off these for um, to be printed. Hopefully they'll arrive next week. I have four left, so hopefully they'll last... Um, I mean, I mean, hopefully they'll sell, but I don't want to be waiting to receive stuff for customers waiting on their stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. What else do I need to do? Next on the agenda is I have some orders to do, but I really want to get on with my catalog. The orders don't need to be shipped out until the 12th, which is tomorrow. Um, so I'll do them tomorrow, but I'm thinking to just work on my wholesale catalog today. 
So this is what my catalog looked like last year. Um, I think it really represented my brand at the time, but we've gone through a little rebranding um, this year. And my patterns are a bit different, but I was really pleased with how it came out. I know I would change a lot of things about it now. Um, like I really like this page and this layout. I'm just working on improving it. And then we have my first greeting card collection, which I've added to since then. The same for this one. I just have a lot more stock now. I don't do these anymore. I do new ones. Same with these. Although I really, really miss this one. Um, yeah, and then it goes to art prints. But I have a lot more to do now. So let's work on improving it. In comparison, this is the front cover of my newest catalogue. And then this will be the first two pages which I think is much more on brand. They're much more updated photos. The content is nice and small. Little introductory section. Um, this will be YouTube, Instagram, um, Facebook or something, maybe. Stuff like that. And then my first page I'm working on, this nice little photo here, little introduction, and all the cards available in this collection here, and so on. Hello, it is future me here doing a little voiceover because I couldn't finish the rest of the vlog as I wanted to because as you can may hear, or you may not be able to hear, my voice has gone a bit strange and it's quite hard to talk. So I'm just finishing off, well not finishing, but just working on my catalogue here. I think this will take me some time. I'm hoping to print it in December at the very latest. Hopefully it's all done by then, but for now, I'm going to finish this vlog and edit it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.